morning. I uh, wasn't feeling that well this morning. So uh, so I ended up waking up around like 2 o'clock or 2.30 or something like that. And now it's 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, what I'm working on, because uh, I decided to just get up, because I ha since I'm staying home today, uh, I'll be with Ava uh, to watch her. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm working on putting together next week's Dreamers podcast episode. So I already edited it and it's ready to rock and roll now. Um, just need to finish out the writing the the show notes and putting the image together. Let's see here. Anyway, um, just figured I'd get it out of the way so I don't have to worry about it later this week. Gotta, I gotta figure out if I'm gonna do some more episodes leading up to DreamCon because I'm uh, DreamCon is gonna be the 300th episode, but it's just a matter of am I going to do more episodes before then to make it so that the 300th episode comes out that Tuesday? Because um, I think with the amount of weeks left, let's see, uh, 290, 91, 92, 93, 94. So I'll only be on episode 94, the, or 294, the week that the, um, the from, from the, previ the, the previous weekend on the 20th is a Saturday when we record episode 300, but it wouldn't come out for a few weeks. I think I'm thinking that that might be a good idea, just because it gives me time to to work work out the um, if I want to do any editing or how I want to put the episode together. If I want to cut anything, um, so I don't know. I I haven't decided yet. Right now, this is episode 289, and. Man, I can't believe it's it's gone. It's been it's already been almost three years since I started this journey doing this show, and uh, I've learned so much. I've I've honed so many awesome skills. I've met so many awesome people. It's it's I'm really really fortunate that I t decided to to take on this uh, this task of doing of doing this uh, this show. I, I absolutely love it and wouldn't trade it for anything. And I'm glad even more now that I have um, that I have it kind of down to like a science. So it's super quick for me to just, you know, pop the episode, uh, get it done. And I mean, I don't do any editing. I used to do editing, but editing's for people who have time and OCD. And I used to have OCD and now I ain't, <laughs> and time, and now I have uh, mostly no time. So I, I just try to do things as quickly as I possibly can. And, um, it kind of just is what it is. However, it comes out anyway. Uh, what do I got going on today? So I'm staying home, watch Ava. And after, as soon as I get this episode done, I'm going to jump on the elliptical and get back to watching my, the 24 hour war about the, uh, 24 hour Le Mans race um, from 1960, Ford versus Ferrari, and that is what I'm doing. After that, got to get a shower, and if there's any time left at that point, I will probably relax uh, in bed, um, have a couple calls. I actually have quite a few calls today. so. I think I might reach out to a friend of a neighbor of ours to see if, what she's up to, see if she can come over and maybe watch Ava a little bit, or at least, you know, if she's getting fussy, um, I can pass her off into the other room. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I gotta. I haven't reached out. I should have reached out, but I didn't <laughs> yet. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now Melissa will be back about two o'clock today. So. Two 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 fifteen. So it's not too too bad. Um, but I have like quite a few calls right like right before then um, that I wanna that I gotta get taken care of. So it's 
just is what it is. Make it work. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and get on the elliptical. Got six miles in. Uh, need to go up because I think I hear Ava crying, which is kind of a problem because I need to get a shower uh, before I can start watching her and take over um, watching her for most of the day. All right, let's see how this goes. So on my way over to Wawa real quick to get something uh, to eat, maybe I think I'm going to pick up some lunch and some milk and uh, yeah, get ready for a, for a day of work and taking care of a one-year-old. Um, I forgot to mention, I finished the 24-hour war, uh, the, talking about the, the great... Uh, Le Mans race of uh, the, like the 19, all the like pretty much all of the 1960s between uh, Ford and and Ferrari. It's uh, really really interesting. You, you should definitely uh, check it out. It's, uh, you know it's it's it really makes you appreciate what um, what racing meant at a time when like death was a pretty you know certain type thing when it came to came to racing and cars in general so uh yeah i would uh i definitely would check it out um let's see you've got like i got like a whole bunch of phone like it's just it kind of stinks that today i have like a whole bunch of phone calls i need to run through um for work and i've been like you know i've been up since two so i don't know i'm pretty pretty tired already but um we'll get through it and tomorrow is a really big day because I'll be talking with John uh going over the you know and actually putting the laying the schedule out uh with the game plan that we've put forward so other than that, I don't, I'm hopeful that maybe, what's the temperature today? 51 so far? Uh, I think it's like a high of 68 today, so I'm hopeful that uh, at some point I'll be going out for a walk with Ava, um, even though I already did six miles this morning. Um, all right, let's go get some milk. Man, it was crazy in there. Uh, I didn't really, I forgot that like today is free coffee day at Wawa. So like everybody was getting their coffee for free. Um, I don't drink coffee. In case, in case you didn't know, I I, it's, it's, I drink tea. I drink hot chocolate, but um, I don't drink coffee. For I don't know, it just never never appealed to me. All right, time to get home. Hey 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 hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, boom. You go boom. Hey, come here, come here. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Yeah, it kind of is. Whoa! You just walked across this whole porch, Ava. Come on, let's go. Come here. Come on. Ava, come on. Come on. Here we go, Randy. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. 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 I was just told that I, I should say this. Uh, by by uh, the executive director at uh, HopeWorks that I that I work for the nonprofit that I should say that um, that twice in one day I had customers gush about how uh, much they enjoyed working with me. <laughs> so um, I guess a little humble brag. Hey Ava. Ava, look. <gasps> What's turn mommy got? Turn out of your Easter egg. Whoa! Look at your Easter egg. Hey, look at it. Uh -oh. Here, do you want it? Ava, you want your Easter egg? It's over here. You gotta get it, Ava. Oh, where are you going? Hey. Hey, girl, come back here. Come back here. 
Give it to Daddy. Your bat. Your basket with eggs. There's your other one. Your blue one. Your blue one. Here, Ava, stand up. Look, you got it. You forgot your blue one. Like your blue star. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Blue. Thank you. Whoa. You forgot your blue. Uh-oh. I'm trying to get up. Here, come on. She can almost do it by herself. Come on, get up. No, I'm just going to crawl. Sure, Daddy. Come here, Ava. Come here. Show Daddy your Easter egg. Come here, Ava. You come over here to burp. Hey. Ava's so big. Yay. Whoa. Good job, Ava. Sorry, I'm, I'm in your way. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Make the face, Ava. <laughs> Where's your nose? Hey. You gotta teach her some other things, like, where's your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> where are you going, Ava? Where's your ears? Oh, there's your nose. There's your nose. Ava, look. Where's your eyes? Ava, where's your eyes? Ava, look. Where's, where's your, your eyes? eyes? Your eyes. Eyes. Oh, Ava. What? Everyone's a big shot until they realize they have to pay for the what they want. Yeah, I do. I try to. Oh, where where did that come from? Hey, where are you going? Come here, Ava. Come here, Ava. Come here. Come here! No, don't come here. Come on. Where are you going? Look at me, I'm walking, mommy. You're getting so big. Oh, oh. oh. Well, I just, uh, you know, I, I want to talk real quick about something that I had to talk to somebody about today. Um, when it comes to, uh, you know, making your, your dreams in, into a reality and making them into a memory, you know, I, I want you to really think about, you know, what's the things in between the things that you really enjoy right so so in, in one case it may be like i love networking and i love you know getting those contacts and becoming friends with more people and all that and that's awesome i you know i, I commend that um but there's the the times in between that um that you really need to be willing to do the things that are needed to be done when no one else is looking and do them right and do them because you want to do them, not because you feel obligated to do it or anything like that. So be willing to do the things that need to be done right when they're needed to be done, regardless of if anyone's watching. That's, that, that, that's like, that's really, really important. I don't think that gets enough credit because um, everything's not glamorous. You know, being a, 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 a rock star networker is only going to go so far if you aren't following through in the hours in between getting and the days and the weeks in between and the months in between doing what it is you actually enjoy, do the part of it that you actually enjoy. Anyway, um, tomorrow I'm meeting with John. Um, at 8 a.m. So I'll probably get up like five, four or five, get my run in, um, finish off some of the last things that need to be put together for the homework assignment that he gave me. And we're gonna, you know, put the, put the game plan in action. Game plan, game play, play. We're gonna make it happen. That's what we're gonna do. And today was really awesome. You know, I didn't get a chance to take a video of it, 
but I was trying to get some work done, um, and I think, I, or actually I was on a call, and I watched Ava go from here to there to there without needing to hold on to anything. And uh, so it was really neat getting the watch. I mean, this isn't her first steps, but it was the first real steps that I had seen where it was like, unassisted and she was just doing it and motoring and now she's like starting to uh run already <laughs> uh as you probably saw from the video so uh so i hope, I hope everybody had a great day um it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome it's good friday if you celebrate that that's awesome um we're off on, at, at hope works on friday on this for good friday and uh yeah yeah, so tomorrow it's going to be really d digging in. Once I get done my job, my my uh, time with with uh, John, digging in and really getting some some hardcore book work done because I have some really great ideas that didn't really make it into the um, into the outline, and the outline uh, is great. And but the thing is, is I don't think it fits the narrative that I want to hit, which is 100 pages to jumpstart growth in your business. And it, 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 this isn't like, this isn't a marathon book. This is like, this is the sprint. This is like 100 pages, page after page after page of like, this is what you can do. Here's the, the, the framework in which you can build your success on and take your success that you've already had and take it to the next level. Because there's always a bigger and better level. Um, and if you get complacent with what you have, as far as the, 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 the growth of the business, that's when you start to, to run into problems because you let things go. And before you know it, you're, you're, not, you're not performing at the level that you once were.